Hey vlog, it's Vlogmas day 19. 19 days and counting. Man, if you'll notice, I'm still in the loft. I didn't actually get a chance to take it down. I was planning on putting it up and finding another backdrop to put it in its place, but I just didn't get the time to do it today. And I hope to get it done tomorrow. Me and dad worked this morning on creating a script for a main channel video that comes out this Thursday and we'll get it filmed tomorrow, get this changed and get a bunch of stuff shipped out tomorrow. Anybody who says email marketing is dead, boy, are they wrong. I do believe it is saturated when you open your inbox and you get, you know, 30, 40 different emails a day of people trying to sell stuff, but it is not dead. All you need to do is have a compelling uh, offer and a subject line that will get them to open it and the great offer inside. Once you've got those two things, email marketing still works and all the big companies are still doing it. Uh, Victoria's Secret, they pump out v emails <sighs> daily, a couple of them a day. They probably have a whole team that that's all they do is work on emails. So, yeah, email is not dead. It never, and I don't see it dying anytime soon. A lot of the social media stuff, I can see that dying as social media platforms change so rapidly. And with the talks about what the government's thinking about with TikTok, well, let's see how that's going to work out. I'm, I don't know. The, the, uh, what's going to happen with that? So people who built their business solely around TikTok, man, they might be in trouble. So you got to be diversified. Anybody who says you don't need diversification, you need to not listen to that person. You need to be diversified in your assets, your income streams. And I do mean multiple income streams and the platforms where you are actually uh, trying to dominate. Now, I understand you might want to push a new platform right in the beginning and kind of let the other slide a little bit because it's great for new traction and to grab ground fast. I get that. But don't put all your eggs in one basket. Keep your other social medias going. Keep your um, uh, email list going. Talk to your emails. Send them offers, but not just sending them offers. Occasionally send them an email just asking for their opinions. You don't want to be constantly bombarding them with sales. What you want to do is make it a relationship. How many of you guys out there actually have an email list? Well, let's start back. How many of you guys have your own business? Drop it in the comments below so we can all support each other. Then, do you have an email list? How are you adding list new leads to your email list? All these are important questions and they're the biggest problems that most businesses have is generating new leads. Yeah, I know it. Adding new leads and adding new uh, emails, adding new addresses, adding new phone numbers, all of that is one of the hardest parts of business. Making and selling product, making and creating and delivering product is easy. Selling it is not. Selling it is the hard part, and that's the part that makes the world go around, is selling it. Once you learn how to sell your products, you're set. Until then, you're just gonna have a warehouse full of stuff, or a bunch of digital courses collecting dust on a hard drive somewheres. You don't want that. So what do you do? What's everybody's current lead generation strategy? Let me know, I'd like to know. I'm real curious as to what you guys all think of this. Um, my organic lead strategy includes Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yep, I went back to Twitter after Elon Musk bought it. If you, if you hate on Musk, go away. <laughs> I may not necessarily like everything he does, but I think the man is a visionary and he is looking to the future and new technology where everybody else is just trying to improve old antiquated technology. 
That's my opinion. But Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I tried TikTok. I don't really understand TikTok that much. But I can see how people are getting leads from it. Those are part of it. But my main, main driver of new leads is YouTube. Yeah, my main channel on YouTube is the number one place where I'm getting leads and it's all organic. And that I take the time, I make the video, and I put it up there. And of course, I have my own promotion schedule where I promote it through my social media. I promote all of my videos in social media. Very, very important that you do that because YouTube doesn't promote your stuff. If it falls within the algorithm, the algorithm will put it out there for people to see. That's true. But it doesn't actually promote your stuff. Contrary to random and everybody's beliefs, it doesn't promote you. You promote you. <laughs> it's funny. You have to promote yourself to get leads. Yeah, you do. Just like everything else. But on YouTube, instead of having to watch those leads on a daily basis, you know, continuously posting new stuff that goes down the rabbit hole of all of the other social media. YouTube, on the other hand, what YouTube does is it stays there and it gets into the search. It gets into places where people are watching. It gets suggested. That's as close to promotion as it, uh, YouTube does for you, is if you've got a good performing video, they will suggest it to other people. And that is a great source of organic traffic. And not only that, what does this do when you created a lead from YouTube? Well, they already know who you are because they've seen you. They know you have something to offer them because they've gotten value from your videos. So... What better way to have a lead? You've got a warm lead instead of a cold lead. Now, if you don't know the difference, a cold lead is where you get somebody through an ad. They don't know who you are. They don't know anything about you. They just see an ad and, ooh, that might work. But a warm lead is somebody who sees, who has found you, sees you, knows what you're up to, knows what you're about because they've seen videos and know that you can solve their problem and then they join your email list. And how do you get them to join your email list from YouTube? Well, you put a link in the description down in underneath the video that just says, join, grab my free whatever lead magnet. Now, it's, sometimes it can be free. It can even be a paid thing if you've actually got a big enough following. However, free is usually the better way to go. It's a whole lot easier. Now, there's two schools of thought. One say that they've already bought, they're even better. But that works best if you've got hot leads. And YouTube really is only bringing you a warm lead. They think you can help. They know they have a problem. They think you can help because you've already helped them with the video, so they went to do more. Now, you won't get everybody that watches your videos to sign up. 2%. If you can aim for that, you'll be doing real good. But the difference is... You make that video today, five years from now, and guess what? It's still adding leads to your uh, email list. I've got a couple videos that are three years old, and they are still adding leads daily. That is the power of YouTube. How many of your other social media posts can do that? I'm betting not many. Well, tomorrow, I'm going to film the a Christmas special video for my main channel, and we'll do another vlog, and I promise I will uh, set the camera up and I'll film the behind the scenes for this channel on how I film my main channel videos, and I'll even film some of me editing. Yeah. Be prepared to be bored there. It is just tedious staring at the computer saying, hmm, is this going to work? <laughs> but that is what I'm going to do tomorrow. Uh, also, I've got to ship a bunch of stuff tomorrow from the, those emails that I sent out over the weekend. They worked well, all thanks to my YouTube videos. That's where 
almost all of my leads have come from. Almost all of them on my email list came from YouTube. So just keep that in mind. If you want to learn more about how to start your own YouTube journey and bring in a new stream of revenue. Oh yes, by the way, once I got monetized on my videos, it's like YouTube pays me to get leads. Yeah, who doesn't like that? Because I'm getting some ad revenue off of all of those videos. You know, it's not a whole lot. If you're in the tech and finance world, it gets a lot better. But in most places, you know, it's it's not that much. $10, $12 a thousand views. But hey, that's $10 or $12 free. Consider it tip money for putting up a video that you're using to get leads. So now YouTube is paying you to get leads. How cool is that? Well, that really, while it, it's not a whole lot, it does help defray the cost of acquiring new customers. Because you shouldn't live on organic alone, advertising is important, but organic does go far and it does work. So join me on my live five-day YouTube challenge. There'll be another one starting next week that you can sign up for with the link down below. Totally free, guys. All you gotta do is enter your name and your email address and you'll get sent a link so you can get into the Facebook group. And there you go. Everything you'll need will be provided in the Facebook group. Won't cost anything except for a little bit of your time and it'll start your future. Yep. And isn't that what you want? A much better future? Don't we want to make 2023 way, way better than 2022? I know I sure do. So join me with the link below. Subscribe to this channel. And while you're at it, check out my main channel. There's a link down below for it as well. And I'll be back for day 20 tomorrow. 20 straight days of vlogging. How cool. Guys, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.